Hey, welcome to Mod and Pop Thrift. My name is Tom. This is Levi. And I'm a full-time eBay reseller and a stay-at-home dad for five of these young people. This oh. one is the second oldest. Um, I've got 31 items that sold on a Tuesday night, so I'm going to go through them super hot fast, uh, tell you what it sold for, what I bought it for, and approximately how long I've had it, and uh, we'll do that super quick. And you guys can learn what to buy and what not to buy along the way. If that kind of content sounds interesting, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the notification bell, and you will get notifications when I post new videos, and you can learn from those too. Without any further ado, let's get into it. These small Asian looking uh, little people, I picked up in a huge lot of little people a couple weeks ago, sold for $20. Everything's free shipping unless I say plus shipping. This pink shirt I picked up uh, probably a year ago for a quarter at a garage sale where I picked up a whole bunch of great uh, vintage clothes. This, I just took an offer for $6.50 plus shipping. This chess set I paid, I want to say a dollar and nine cents for like three or four weeks ago, and it sold for $20. That chess set is from the like 40s, and it has a paper chess board, and the pieces are super generic. But people buy chess sets all the time. I just picked up this black denim. It's got metal buttons uh, all the way up. Even this collar button is metal. Um, Picked it up for $2.48 at Goodwill. It, it sold within 24 hours of being listed for $24. Wii games. I went through my kids' Wii games, and there was a bunch that they hadn't touched, hadn't, uh, I'd played through and hadn't touched in forever. I had them go through them with me, and there were like 40 Wii games that they didn't have interest in and were just taking up room on the shelf. So, um... We listed them for sale. There were 14 that I lotted together. None of them are interesting. Here's a list if you want to know what they were. But um, I listed them for I listed them for $45 free shipping, and they sold in like three or four days. They're all like super generic games, but I think I list, tried to list them at like $3 a piece free shipping. I paid $8 for this North Face jacket uh, two days ago at Goodwill. It's got like, I don't know how well you can see that because it's reflecting weird. Let me see if, uh, see that weird snag? It's got those all over it, like eight or ten places. And I don't know if you can see this discoloration, but it's got, she's got flaws. Uh, paid $8. I didn't really notice that it had as many flaws uh, in that huge lot that maybe you've seen the video for already. And... It sold within 24 hours, but I only put $24 on it when the comps were around 35 to 40 in good condition ones. I just wanted it to move and knew that nobody was going to pay me full price for it. Geronimo Stinton is a book series that my oldest son read some of. Um, he had already read these before I found these for 50 cents a piece because they're children's books at Goodwill, but they're hardcover, and I've had them for... I would say at least 90 days, but they sold for $16 and I'm either one or $2 into them. Adidas pants, I picked up at an estate sale. All the clothes were $2. These are new with tag and they're nothing to write home about, but they did sell for $25 free shipping. Um, and I paid $2 probably four or five weeks ago. The week I got a whole bunch of Carhartt stuff. More Wii games, these Mater National, it's three Cars Universe games. So Mater National, uh, Mater's Tall Tales, and then the Planes game sold for $12.99 free shipping. Coogie is a brand that gets a lot of talked about. There's a C there, it's washed out. Um, I have had this for over a year. The only thing that I am, I have had the jeans, I've had the shoes, I've had some t-shirts, and I, I've never had an official uh, Coogie brand cable net sweater, but the cable net sweaters are the only things that sell. 
uh, quickly and for good money. So if you find a Kugi brand cable knit sweater, awesome. If you find any other brand of cable knit sweater, also awesome. Put Kugi as a keyword, but like Kugi style. Um, and um, <clears throat> if you find a Kugi one, they're several hundred dollars. But everything else Kugi, I would probably skip. I paid a dollar for that. Like the store's not even there anymore. The store, store was closed like eight or nine months ago. So I've had that a while. This VCR, I'm not going to dig it out and hold it up. I paid three dollars for it at Goodwill. Judah tested it for me. It sold within 24 hours of being listed for eighty dollars. It's Sony brand. Came with the manual. Came with the remote. I added the RCA cord and uh, a blank tape. Just Dance. These two Just Dance games sold for ten bucks. Free shipping. Uh, the kids played Just Dance, but they tend to only play the one that's on the Wii U. So they didn't want those and they're gone. Uh, Cooking Mama, surprisingly, like a lot of these games that are pink, girl themed games, I don't think, I don't think of cooking as inherently feminine, even though my mom cooked, was the main cook in the house. My dad did do some cooking and I do a lot of the cooking at our house. So I feel like it's weird to say this is a little girl game, but it is bright colored pink cutesy Nintendo DS game. Levi's gonna hold it up for you. There it is. And it's, uh, but it's considering most of those games, those pink cutesy games sell for two or three dollars a piece. That one was worth listing by itself. Sold for $11 free shipping. This is a VHS series called Substitute. Uh, substitute and Substitute. Failure is not an option. In a world where the teacher was sick and couldn't come to school, failure is not an option. The substitute, rated R. One of them sealed, the other one's not. They sold for $13.99. They're kind of in that horror genre, and then they're not, it's not something that was hugely popular. So it did okay. I mean, they sold for like six bucks a piece, and one of them sealed. But I paid a quarter a piece for them. Timberland boots. I don't do super well with Timberlands, but I don't find the good ones. I find these, which are fairly generic Timberland boots. I paid $4 for them. I might even have got them on a day where boots were a do where buy one, get one. And they sold for $23 plus shipping. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good profit, $4 into $23 plus shipping, but it's they're, they're not anything spectacular. Speaking of spectacular, that flag shirt, can you make sure that everything's not spilling out? I am not a big fan of like wearing the flag. I just feel like it's weird, a weird thing to do. But this, it's to each their own. It's, if it's for you, it's for you. But this shirt like has the fade and it has the Broncos like all over, even into the sleeves. And it is just nifty. And it's Pearl Snap. I picked it up at Goodwill for $2.50. The only other, there were no sold comps. The only other listed comp was 43 and I thought man that guy's asking too much for that and I listed it for I listed mine for 29.99 and it sold within minutes and that guy's is listed for 48 and isn't sold yet so at 30 I feel like even if I left a little meat on the bone I beat that guy to getting the sale on the exact same shirt in the exact same size so I feel like I priced it I priced it pretty appropriately because obviously somebody was looking for that shirt and didn't buy his yet and did buy mine. So the m middle ground maybe is somewhere in there, but I feel like I'd rather get the sale and leave five, six bucks on the table and sell it immediately and start recouping my money so I can reinvest it. Batman Wii U. Uh, this game sold for $12. It's not great. I bought it when I bought the Wii U, I bought it for me to play and it is not fantastic. Um, it's open world and there's just not any direction to tell you where to go. And so I felt like I spent forever searching the map instead of interacting with the game. So not a fantastic game, sold for 12 bucks. Paid $1.99 at Goodwill, it's new with tags. Sold for $16 free shipping. I'm not gonna hold all of these up here. This one still has the 99 cent price tag on it. It is a divider to hold your cassette tapes. There are three that stack on top of each other. I listed them individually with a quantity of three and they sold, um, I mean, they've probably been listed for four or five weeks. 
and I had a lot of offers or I had a lot of conversation about them, but they are, uh, they sold for the buyers all in at like $40, 36 something plus shipping. Levi was with me when we picked up these Levi's. So maybe these are Levi's Levi's. These are 501. Um, we bought them for $5 and they sold for 20. So, but I'll, I'll be able to get these into a regular flat rate envelope and they'll ship for $7 and 40 cents. Uh, and so I'll make, I'll make like $7 on my $5 investment. Not a ton of money, but I said at the time, I wasn't super happy at the price on this one, but I used them to negotiate a price on a bundle of a Ralph Lauren thing. And I paid like 10, I paid like 15, $16 at the whole yard sale. And I sold this Ralph Lauren vest already for $40. And that one, so I, I'm already into the profit on the bulk buy. Um, I paid, I paid up on those knowing I paid a little too much but I would get it back on the other things that I bought. So we got Taz, we got these flashcards, we got uh, the entire set of, of uh, well, not the entire set, but four of these shirt tails, guys. We have this Build-A-Bear with the peace sign, and we have this Kali named Lucky, I think. Um, this was a guy who reached out and said, hey, I'm interested in all five of these items. The price is 53 and change plus shipping on all of them. Could, would you take $50 including shipping? And so I put together a lot that was just the main picture of all of them and I'll put it up and put lot for Steve. And he came in in a little while and bought it. Um, and so these are all going out to the same guy. I should be able to cram it all into a number seven box priority it uh because they're plush you can just kind of squeeze them and make them fit merrill's i don't remember where i picked them up i want to say maybe at the place uh that has uh four dollar shoes it was either that or goodwill and i would have paid like 6.99 for them but they sold i know they've been around a little while they've been around since the beginning of summer um sold for 27 free shipping but I'm not, I'm less than $10 into them. This Harley hoodie I picked up the other day at Goodwill. The other day was probably two weeks ago now. And I know I paid $5.99 for it. And I felt like I shouldn't buy this for that much. Uh, sold for $17 uh, on an offer. I had it listed for $19.99 and it sold for $17. Um, not a great sale. But we got something in and out. Same deal with the big lot on the Wii games. I won't hold them all up, but these are DS games that the kids had 100 games, and we went through and eliminated probably 30 of them. And the big lot sold. There were a handful that were worth keeping or worth selling individually or in pairs. And then there were these that were just lotted together. I want to say it was 14, 12 or 14 games. 12. Sold for... $29. Punch Out. This game, keep an eye out for this one. Bow Low Punch Out for the Wii. Um, not hugely valuable, but it sold in a couple, of, it sold in a day of, be, of being listed for $33.50. And a lot of people would call that a sports game. A lot of people would just pass by it because it's not a Mario title, but it's it's a good one. Evelyn found a bouncy ball. MASH t-shirt. Um, I think I paid a dollar for it. I've had a couple of these MASH t-shirts. They sell eventually and not for much money. So I'm not sure I'm picking up MASH t-shirts anymore. Uh, $15 free shipping. These two VHS I picked up um, for a quarter a piece and they sold for $12. Um, not and they, I've had them for a while, so I wouldn't pick these up again, but they did sell. Single stitch blank Hanes t-shirt. Nothing remarkable about it. It's just, it's a single stitch. It's made in the USA, Hanes. Um, I picked it up the other day at Goodwill. No, this isn't the one. Maybe it is. I don't know how long I've had this. I sell a lot of single stitch blanks. 
and this one sold for $15 and I would have paid $2.50 for it somewhere. Camo, mossy oak hat, pink and camo. I paid 50 cents for it at a garage sale. I had it listed for a while and it's listed, it sold for $9 free shipping. I probably wouldn't pick that up again, but I would pick these up again and they sold for $8 free shipping. These pieces, they are out of Electronic Stratego, and they are your bombs if, you've, if you're familiar with Stratego. Um, and I bought an Electronic Stratego for $2.48. I actually bought two. I bought one at Goodwill for $2.48, and I bought one at, Good, at a, an estate sale for $2.00. And these pieces, you can imagine this piece gets lost. Well, I had a complete set of six. This is five. I had a complete set of red, a complete set of both blues, and then this one that was missing one red. And the, none of the boards, the electronic board, doesn't work. So I've lotted them up as parts. Well, with this one, which is going to cost me like $3 to ship, and it's going to be, and I'm into both of them together for $4.50. This is going to, this at $8 is going to put me close to profit on both boards. And then I can just hang on to them forever and part the pieces out. And actually I sold already a battery cover for one of them too. So I'm definitely into the profit on the Stratego, electronic Stratego, just selling the parts, even though the boards didn't work. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Um, thanks for coming along. I hope you learned something. Say hi to Levi in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe while you're hanging out. It really helps the channel out. We're growing again. We were going backwards there for a little while. Um, I'm going to start putting out videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or maybe Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. But I'm just going to be doing three videos a week uh, because when I let them simmer in the middle, they tend to do better. So right now it is uh, Wednesday, but you guys might not see this for a week and because I got a handful of videos going out. And, um, and we're going to be on a schedule and making videos uh, a little less frequently to see if, we, if that helps the channel grow. Thanks for... Liking, commenting, subscribing, watching all the way to the end. Those things are bigger deals than you realize. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.